Hello everyone! I recently received the very bad news that you can finally get caught trying to date the entire town. So that means my career is effectively over. But that's not going to stop me from trying. So we're going to find out just what kind of trouble mums can get in today. Let's see how long it takes to get busted. Before we get to that, we're going to need a clean slate. There can never be enough dubs in this world. And it turns out I've already wiped everyone's memories, so we're good to go. Now as far as marriage candidates go, on the male side we have Drinky, Bitey, Stupid, Sam, Righty, and Boring. And for the females we have Artsy, Crazy, Bucky, Weirdo, Goggles, and Idiot Stick. Now you can only actually marry one person at a time, but you can date any of them and all of them. Before, the only repercussion of doing so was you'd occasionally get caught giving a gift to one of the people and making your spouse jealous. But I understand things have changed a little. Now in order to get everyone up to a dateable level, you need to get them to 8 hearts, which is the maximum hearts until you give them a bouquet of flowers, and then things get serious at that point. The best way to get there is give everyone their favorite gifts. Alex likes a complete breakfast. For some reason, Elliot really likes pomegranates. Harvey gets it, he loves coffee. Sam's all about that pizza. Sebastian likes blood, but he's gonna have to settle for sashimi. And shockingly, Shane likes beer because it really makes his life better. Abigail likes a gem that matches her hair. Emily likes wool, fresh off the sheep. Haley likes coconuts because she finds them relatable. Leah likes salads because she's one of those. Maru likes battery packs and I don't know why. And Penny loves melons because everyone loves melons. Now like I said, it's no big deal to give everyone these gifts they love, it will increase their heart rate quite rapidly until they get all the way up to 8 hearts, and we'll pretend we've done this every day for quite a while. So currently, we have everyone in town at 8 hearts, the people with the single under the name obviously are the ones we can date. Everyone is still single, once you give them a bouquet of flowers, it unlocks their final two hearts, at which they turn into your girlfriend or boyfriend. And I suspect that is what triggers the cutscene. So tomorrow I gotta go give everyone in town a bunch of bouquets of flowers, then we'll see what happens. I need you to be my girlfriend. Here, hold this. Can you give this to your sister for me? Bad news for you. One day you will be mine. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a whole bunch of boyfriends and girlfriends. Robin's still at the top of the list for some reason, but aside from her, everyone that is dateable is currently a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Every single possibility is covered. I'm not sure when or where this cutscene triggers, but I'm going to sleep on it because I don't want to lose today's progress. And I suspect simply the fact that I'm now dating everyone is enough to trigger this. I'm thinking it's probably at the saloon. That's kind of the impression I've been getting. So I'm going to wait till tonight. We're going to go to the saloon and see what happens. Also, didn't they already take care of this thing? Why is it still here? Failure number one. I think they need to be at 10 hearts. We're going to boost it. Try it again tomorrow. All right. Now I think we're getting somewhere. Hey, look, all of you guys all in the same room. That's convenient. Yeah, I definitely would have to go at that point. Stroke, heart attack, anything to get me out. Never thought you'd find all your boyfriends in one room, huh, mums? I'm just glad the girlfriends aren't here too. This could be twice as bad. You tricked all of us into thinking we loved you. Well, I didn't trick you. You do love me. That's why it hurts so much. The last shred of hope I had left is completely destroyed. Thanks, mums. Are you happy now? Getting there. I gotta do the girls first, but we'll, we'll get there. Mumps, I thought... I thought you were one of a kind, but you were just using me. Boy, was I. Getting away with it, too. For once, I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, how's that book coming along? Well, we're not gonna put up with your abuse any longer. Wanna bet? I can erase your memories. I own you. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I never liked you anyway. Obviously, I'm not sorry. Guys, calm down. I can explain. I can talk my way out of anything. More choices. All right. We could go with you or else you push with me. You made it difficult to say no. Pierre pressured me. He wanted to sell more bouquets or start crying. I'm going to blame it on Pierre. That's always the right move. Blame it on someone else. Don't blame others for your mistakes. You're just losing more respect with us. Oh no. Whatever will I do? I think we've come to a decision. Isn't that right, boys? You're going to date each other from now on? Yes. Absolutely. All right. Well, can I leave now? You're taking up my valuable time. We're all leaving you. Yeah, I kind of got that feeling. So that was dumped by five people all at once. That's a new record for me. I'm impressed. I feel like this should go equally as well. Hey ladies, how's it going? You should go check out the saloon right now. Big party going on. Never thought you'd find all your girlfriends in one room, huh mumps? Well, the town's pretty small, so it's not that surprising. I just didn't really care that much. I, I thought you were different than other men. I am. I'm much worse. How could you do this to us, mumps? For my own personal benefit. You think you're real smooth, don't you? 
thought you'd sample the whole buffet, huh? What a sleaze. To be honest, I value food a lot more than I value you. That night in a tent, you whispered such sweet things to me in the dark. And why do you think I did that? No, I have to face each day knowing it was all a lie. And that makes me feel better. Well, us women stick together. We're not going to put up with this. Yeah, 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 self-respect, blah, blah, blah. Same thing I just went through with the other half of the town. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Ladies, calm down. I can explain. This time, I got this. Ladies, this is completely normal. It's just a lifestyle choice. It's a lifestyle I choose to live. Hmph, I don't know what's considered normal in Zuzu City, but I'm definitely not okay with this arrangement. Well, now you tell me. It's kind of late. It's not a choice if none of us even know about it, you jerk. Yes, it is. It's a choice for me. You can't weasel your way out of this one, mumps. Wanna bet? I think we've come to a decision. Isn't that right, girls? Yep. Big surprise here. Yes. Absolutely. Hey, Leah can talk too. Who'd have known? We're all leaving you. Outstanding. Back to the bachelor life. And that's it. I believe that's a dozen people dumping me all in one single day. Pretty sure I've done completely the opposite though, so that's not so bad. Interestingly enough, their relationships just revert back down to eight hearts without the dating thing. And how do they feel about that? She just has nothing to say. That's probably all for the best. She's never been the brightest at the best of times. I can't bear to see you. Well, is this helping? How's the buzz this afternoon? Shane has a glazed look in his eyes. He won't speak to you. Oh, maybe he actually is buzzed. Sam? One sec, I gotta beat this level. Oh, Sam doesn't even care. He gets it. You're not worth my time. Neither are books, apparently. Uh, he said it. It's nice of you to visit. He can't take that back. Go away. I can't bear to see you. Well, then maybe you shouldn't let me walk into your house constantly. Well, now what do I do? 